Hello everyone, this is CS Dinesh Goyal, practicing company secretary from Delhi. I welcome all of you on my YouTube channel at CS Dinesh Goyal. So in our last videos, we have discussed so many things about the DPT-3 form. In this video, we are specifically going to discuss some very important points, some very important discussion on the DPT-3 form. And practically, my this points, my this discussion is taken from the questions raised by so many professionals in our WhatsApp group, Gyan Beautiful. So let me start to discussion one by one. First, column number six of the DPT-3 from object of the company. Some person has messaged me on the WhatsApp that this object column is pre-filled by the form DPT-3, but while the pre-filling, the object are showing different from the actual object of the company means wrong object show or for number six of the DPT-3 form first. Now what to do in this case? Practically, this six number column is pre-filled by the form. You cannot amend it, you cannot change this. So as a professional, I can suggest one thing in such situation, you should attach a clarification letter in your DPT-3 that the actual object of the companies as per memorandum of uh, association is this and DPT-3 showing this. So we cannot amend the DPT-3 form. That's why we are attaching the clarification letter. This clarification letter we should attach in the DPT-3 if our objects refill in the DPT-3 is not matching with our, we can say memorandum of association of the company. Point number two. Date of the closing of account. This is a very important question. Everyone is asking which date we have to mention. So let me just give you an example. Right now we are in the month of June 2022. We are filing this form for the financial year 2021 and 22. Means for the financial year ending 31st March 2022. So this uh, point number 7B is asking date of last closing of account. As we are filing this form in the June uh, 2022, the date of last closing of account shall be definitely 31st March 2022. So everyone should mention here 31st March 2022. Doesn't matter your audit has been done or not for the 31st March 2022, but column number 7 we shall be uh, filled as a 31st March 2022. Now most important point number 8. Net worth as per the latest audited balance sheet preceding the date of the return. Now just read the word net worth as per the latest audited balance sheet preceding the date of return. You are filing a return in the month of June 2022. If your audit for the 31st March 2022 has already been done, then you have to use the figure of the 31st March 2022. But there will be very few companies whose audit has already been done in the month of June. That's why this work, the latest audited balance sheet, we will take from the 31st March 2021 because the preceding last audited balance sheet available with the company is 31st March 2021. So in case you don't have, uh, we can say you don't have the audited balance sheet of the 31st March 2022, you can mention the figure here of the 31st March 2021 like paid up share capital, fleet reserve, security premium account, accumulated losses, balance of all draft revenue expenditure, other intangible assets, all these figures you can take from the balance sheet and the PNL account. Now, one more question for the eight number point. If your company is incorporated in financial year 2021-22 itself, then definitely you don't have available any financials, any audited financials. In that case, how to fill this column? There are the two school of thought, two process you can use for this purpose. Number one, as this is your first financial year, you definitely don't have any audited financial statement. Then you can mention your paid up share capital as per your record of the Ministry of Corporate Affairs and you can proceed further. Second, if company can provide you the provisional figures of the free reserve, security premium and the other things, then on the basis of the provisional figures, you can fill the point number eight and attach a letter with the form that this is the first financial year of the company. Company is not having availability of the any audited financial statement. That's why company is mentioning the provisional figure. So by using this way, you can definitely fill the DPT-3 form in a very perfect manner, very professional manner. Hope through this video, so many queries of yours has been cleared. Still, if you have any question, any query, you can mention on our chat box, you can mention on our WhatsApp number. Thank you so much.